Okay, so I have shown you the equation for ellipse where the center is at the origin. So now here is the equation for ellipse where the center is at HK. So it will be X minus H square over K square plus Y minus K square over B square equal to 1. Okay. So the concept is still the same uh, for parabola where the vertex is not the at the origin. So now it's the equation for ellipse. Okay, so now let's compare these two table of example where the ellipse, the center of the ellipse is not at the origin. Okay, so firstly we look at uh, the ellipse on the left where we have a ellipse in the position of horizontal. Okay, as you can see, the answer for coordinates will be changed. Okay, you can see here the major vertices, the minor vertices, the and the loci, and also the center. Okay, so the center now for the uh, ellipse will be CHK that depends on the point of H and K. And then the major vertices will be H plus A and H minus A. Then for minor vertices is K plus B, K minus B. Okay. So, it depends on the position of the vertices. Whether the vertices is on the uh, major axis or on the minor axis. Okay. So, the foci also change. It become H plus C K or H minus C K. Alright. And then on the right side, we have a table for ellipse where the center is not at the origin. So you can see it create a changes. The position of the, uh, the ellipse affected the center. The ma major exists, the minor exists and the foci for the ellipse. Okay. So these are the new coordinates for ellipse uh, vertical ellipse when the center is not at the origin okay if you are difficult to remember the formula of the coordinates so don't worry so i will show you the methods to easily determine the vertices and foci when the ellipse is not at the origin okay for example let's look at this equation of ellipse x plus 2 square over 25 plus y minus 1 square over 16 equal to 1. So, um, so we, we can know this is a ellipse, equation for ellipse, where the center of the ellipse is not at the origin. So, d to determine the position of the center, we take x plus 2 equal to 0. So, x equal to negative 2. So, this is the value for h. And y minus 1 equal to 0. y equal to 1. And this is the value for k so the center now we know it is at negative 2 and 1 okay so we are done the easy part the center okay next is the crucial part that is the value of a b and c so a square equal to 25 a equal to 5 and b square equal to 16 so b is equal to 4 as we can see, A is bigger than 5. Sorry. A is bigger than B. So then we know this is a horizontal ellipse. Okay. So then we determine the value of C. So for horizontal ellipse, the formula for C will be equal to square root of a square minus B square. So, C equal to square root of uh, 25 minus 16. And now, we have C equal to square root of 9. That is equal to 3. Okay. So, now, we have our value of C that equal to 3. Okay. Now, to determine the vertices and the foci. The easy one. The easy step. To determine the vertices and foci for ellipse where the center is not at the origin is to sketch the ellipse okay firstly we start with the sketch by sketching the ellipse 
So we know it is a horizontal ellipse. So we draw it like this. So this will be the visual line for major and minor axis. So this will be the center at negative 2, 1. Okay, so, so we know this is the length of A. And at the end of the length of A, we will have the position for vertices, for vertex. And right here, we also have a vertex. And going above, we will have the position for minor vertex. And down here, we also have another position for minor vertex. Okay, so for the vertex on the right side, okay, it will be at the position of 5 from the center. So from the center, we have negative 2. So it will be 5 points to the right. So negative 2 plus 5, 1. Okay, then the coordinate will be 3, 1. So that is the coordinate for vertex. Vertices major is at 3, 1. And then vertices major on the left side, it will be negative 2 minus 5. Because right here is 5 from the center to the vertex 1. So it will be negative 7, 1. So the vertices at major will be 3, 1 and negative 7, 1. And then for vertices at minor, Vertices at minor, it will be negative 2. So, the length of B is 4. So, 1 plus 4. So, it will be negative 2, 5. So, here will be negative 2, 5. And down here, it will be negative 2, 1 minus 4. So, equal to negative 2, negative 3. So, negative 2 and negative 3. So, here is the point positions for vertices at major and minor. So, it can be easily determined by firstly sketching the graph of the ellipse. Okay? So, it is more easier lah, uh, than remembering the formula in the previous tables. Okay, then for foci, for foci, it will be situated right here. And the length from center to the foci, it depends on the value of C. Okay, so that will be, okay, foci will be um, negative 2 plus 3, 1, and that is 1, 1. And another position for foci on the left is negative 2 minus 3, 1. And that is negative 5, 1. So that is how you determine the vertices and foci from your sketch. Okay, so to finish up the sketch of your graph, don't forget to draw the axis. The x and y axis, this is the y. And this is the x axis. So that is your complete sketch of the graph. Okay, uh, we have seen the equation for parabola. So it can be two types of equation. So firstly, where the center at origin and another one where the center at HK. So these two are the equation for ellipse. Uh, for standard form okay because we will have another one that is called as the general form which is written in a form like this so ax square plus by square plus cx sorry cx plus dx plus e equal to zero okay so this is the general form for an ellipse. So, in order to change the general form into standard form, we we will use 
completing the square method. Okay, now let's look at this example of general form of an ellipse. So, we want to change this into standard form. So, firstly, we gather all of the same term. We put it side by side. So, minus 3 x plus 16 y square plus 64 y equal to 44. So, we put uh, the number on the right side of the equation. Okay, then in order to perform the completing the square, so firstly, I want to factorize out the number in front of the square. So, that will be 9x square minus 4x y square plus 4y equal to 44. Okay, so, but then we will proceed with the completing the square. Plus 16 equal to 44. So, on the right side, do not forget to include the number factor out, which is the 9 into your b, in front of your b square over 2. So, negative 4 over 2 square plus 16 4 over 2 square. Okay, so now you will have your completing the square. So, that will be 9 uh, x minus 2 square plus 16 y plus 2 square equal to 144. Okay, so, so in order to transform it into set the form of ellipse, so we have to make sure the right side of the equation is equal to 1. So, we divide it by 144. So, finally, we will have x minus 2 square over 16 plus y plus 2 square over 9 and equal to 1. So, that is the standard form for ellipse. Okay, so we take that equation, the standard form, and now we want to find the foci and vertices and sketch it uh, ellipse. Okay, so firstly, we determine the center. So, x minus 2 equal to 0. x equal to 2. Then, h equal to 2. y plus 2 equal to 0. y equal to negative 2. Then, k equal to negative 2. So, then the center for ellipse is 2, negative 2. Alright. Okay, then we determine the value of a and b. So, a square equal to 16. So, a equal to 4. b square equal to 9. So, b is equal to 3. And by using the formula for c, okay, we want to find uh, the value of C. But firstly, we need to know whether the ellipse is horizontal or vertical. As you can see, A is bigger than B, so it is horizontal. So, we use a formula for horizontal C. So, that is C square equal to A square minus B square. So, C will be equal to square root of 7. Alright. So, now we have the value of C, A and B, and we also have the center. So, we can determine the position for vertices and for psi. Okay, the center is uh, 2, negative 2. Okay, so then the major vertices on the right side will be depending on the value of A. Because this is A equal to 4. So, A that will be 2 plus 4, negative 2 and equal to 
6, negative 2. Okay, so our vertices at major is 2 plus 4, negative 2, and equal to 6, negative 2. So we just write down 6, negative 2 on our graph. Okay, then for major vertices on the left, that will be 2 minus 4, negative 2. So then negative 2 and another one, negative 2. So this is negative 2 and negative 2. So our verti vertex at minor. negative 2 depends on the value of b that is 3 plus 3 so we will have that equal to 2 and 1 and another one for down here that will be 2 negative 2 minus 3 2 negative 5 so these are the position of our vertex. Then we determine the position of focus. So our foci that will depend on the value of C, square root of 7. So our foci will be 2 plus square root of 7, negative 2, and 2 minus square root of 7, negative 2. Okay, then you draw the main axis, the x and y axis in your sketch. So, um, this is negative 2. Okay, then this is the y. And then for your... This is the x axis. Okay, so this is the sketching of your ellipse. So here I have another one more example of y square plus 9x square plus 18x plus 6y. So I want you to uh, firstly change this general form of ellipse into standard form. Then determine the center, focus and foci. Then sketch your ellipse. So I want you to pause your video from now and... I will give you the answer. Okay, so after you have done your completing the square, so you will obtain this standard form for your ellipse. So from here, you can determine the center. Center of your ellipse will be at negative 1, negative 3. Then your vertex for, sorry, for vertices. Your vertices for major is at negative 1, sorry, okay, negative 1, negative 3 plus square root of 18, and negative 1, negative 3 minus square root of 18. Then your vertex at minor will be negative 1 plus square root of 2, negative 3, and negative 1 minus square root of 2, negative 3. So that are your coordinates for vertices. And meanwhile, for foci, the coordinates is negative 1 and 1, and another one is negative 1 and negative 7. Okay, then finally, this is the sketch of the ellipse.